All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you change your Wi-Fi settings on your Android phone. It works on tablets, pretty much anything with modern Android. This is more or less how it works. So the first thing you want to do is pull down the menu from the top here all the way, and then you should be able to see a little gear down here at the bottom of the window, kind of like in the lower right hand corner. Go ahead and tap that and that will open up all of your phone's different settings, like including testing out the new dark theme, which looks really good. And so from here, you can just go to networks and internet, and you can also then go press on the Wi-Fi. There's a couple of things actually that you can do with the Wi-Fi. You can A, turn Wi-Fi on or off, which will force you to go into, you know, communicating with your wireless network. Alternatively, you can click on the actual Wi-Fi name, and this will then show a list of all of the different connections near you that you can then click and then log into. Then once you're connected, everything should be hunky-dory and you're good to go. You can also manually click on the Add Network button and type in, like, super secret Wi-Fi, because it's possible to set up a Wi-Fi network that's hidden until you put in the name and then put in, say, the password once it prompts you for it. But again, you have to know that it's there. And that's actually one way that you can do it when you're at home to hide your Wi-Fi signal from 99% of the population, because honestly, no one's going to go to a residential area and look for a hidden Wi-Fi network. And then once you're connected, you could just back out of there and you're all done. Pretty much all of your different connection settings wirelessly in your phone that relate to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth can be found inside of here, even your mobile network. You can also pop on airplane mode, all those good things, and even a data saver, which will allow you to restrict what data apps use in here in order to try to throttle them back so you're not chugging down a bunch of data that includes things like keeping apps from trying to double check that there's no updates every two seconds. It keeps apps from running too much in the background, trying to suck down your data again, trying to stay up to date constantly. All those are in here, including advanced VPN settings that you can use a VPN either at Google or you can use a private VPN and you can even set your DNS settings so that you can use a specific DNS that isn't belonging to your carrier network. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a quick look at how to enable networks and internet Wi-Fi settings. I uh, hope this has helped you at home change your Wi-Fi, you know, connection to a different modem. And until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.